Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be guiding you through a gentle yoga flow. So this is going to be very relaxing and it's going to be very nourishing for the hips and really opening for the hamstrings. So for this practice, you are not going to need any props and we will go ahead and get started in a seated position. So bringing the soles of the feet to touch, knees open out wide, finding yourself in a diamond position taking your hands onto your ankles inhale to find length and exhale to fold forward any amount taking these few moments to maybe set your intention for your practice to really settle gently walk all ten fingertips to the right And to the left. Coming back through center, walk yourself all the way back up. Swing that left leg out to the left and bend the right foot in towards the groin. Inhale here. And exhale to take your left hand to the outside of your right knee, right fingertips come behind you, inhale to lengthen, and exhale twist from the navel. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale to twist. One more inhale, and exhale twist. Holding it here. Next exhale, gently release, looking over towards your left big toe. Inhale to lengthen, line your chest up or your sternum up with your big toe and gently fold forward. So you want a little bit of activity in that left leg, so gentle flex in the left foot. Thinking about drawing the left hip back, right hip forward. Gently from here, lift the gaze and just walk all 10 fingertips over to the front and down the center. You can come onto your forearms. Just a few breaths here. Slight engagement in that left leg. And gently from here, coming all the way back up, switching. So bringing the left foot in towards the groin, the right leg goes out to the side. Inhale to lengthen and exhale. Right hand comes to the outside of the left knee, left fingertip spider behind you. Inhale to lengthen and exhale twist. So again, slight activation in that right leg. Inhale lengthen, exhale twist. One more inhale to lengthen and exhale twist. Gently unravel, 
turn to look over towards your right big toe. Slight flex in the foot, inhale and exhale, walking your fingertips towards your foot. Gently bring that right hand to the inside of the right leg. Walk yourself through the middle and fold forward. And walk yourself all the way back up and we'll just spin to the top of the mat bend both knees finding ourselves in a tabletop taking a few cat cow here inhale belly drops chin lifts and exhale round to chest inhale And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Find a neutral tabletop position, shimming, you're just making figure eights with your hips. So stick the hip out to the right and then stick the left hip out to the left. Then you can add in the chest and the torso. Try not to control the movement, just let it happen. And from here, tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Left and right. And from here, walking your hands back to meet your feet. Just let the belly drape over the thighs, let the head hang heavy. You can nod your head yes and no. You can sway from side to side. So right now your feet are about hips width distance apart. Slowly from here, let's roll up to stand nice and slowly. Once all the way up, go ahead and bring your feet about as wide as your mat, if not a little bit wider. Bring the hands behind the low back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the elbows together, squeeze the shoulder blades, reach your knuckles towards the backs of your heels as the chest lifts, inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Again, let's sway from side to side, let the head yes and no. So 
two more breaths. On your next exhale, gently let the hands come back onto the low back, reach your hands to the floor, and then walk your hands all the way back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Let's inhale for the right leg to lift. Come up high into your left tippy toes. Bend the right knee in towards the chest and step the right foot in between the palms. Left knee comes to the floor. Inhale, low lunge. Windmill your hands down to frame the right foot. Tuck the left toes under, pick up the left knee, and step forward to the top of the mat. And again, let the head drop. Enjoy the stretch. Gently planting the palms onto the floor. Step back with the right foot. The right knee comes to the mat. Shimmy your left foot to the left side of the mat. And find your lizard lunge here. Come this way from side to side. You can come on to forearms if that feels good. Just making sure you're not rounding through the spine. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, come back up onto your palms. So from here, with your right toes tucked under, pick up your right knee. You're going to come to the knife edge of both your right foot and your left foot. You might need to shimmy your left foot more towards the center of your mat. Inhale, the left arm lifts up. Exhale, lower the right hip. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the right knee. Stack the left knee on top for shoelace. You can grab a hold of opposite feet. Inhale for length. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale to rise, turn to face the top of the mat, plant both palms onto the floor, push into your right foot to pick up your right hip, and step back with the left foot, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. We'll do the other side, inhale the left leg to lift, come up high into the right tippy toes. Bend the left knee and step the left foot in between the palms. Right knee comes to the floor. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. So just making sure you're not hanging out here. Everything is nice and active right through your fingertips. On your next exhale, windmill your hands forward to frame your left foot. 
pick up your right knee, step the right foot to meet the left. Forward fold. Again, just enjoying the stretch. Nod your head yes and no. Sway from side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the left foot back. Bring the left knee to the floor. Shimmy your right foot to the right side of the mat and bring both hands to the inside of the right foot. Enjoying your lizard lunge. Trying to avoid rounding and instead looking for length by drawing the crown of the head towards the top of the mat. You can leave your left toes tucked or untucked. And if you'd like, you can always come down onto your forearms. On your next exhale, push back up onto your palms. Tuck your left toes under, pick up your left knee, and come to the blade edge, knife edge, of both feet. And then shimmy your right foot closer to the middle of your mat. Inhale, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, lower the left hip to the floor. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. On this exhale, gently bend the left knee. Bring the left hip to the floor. Right knee stacks over the left. For shoelace, grabbing a hold of opposite, opposite ankles. Inhale and exhale to fold. Gently opening the eyes, lifting yourself all the way up, back up, taking your hands, turning towards the top of the mat again, plant your palms, push into both of your feet, pick up your left knee, and step back with the right foot. Downward facing dog. Pedaling it out here. And eventually dropping to your knees, coming to sit down, extend your legs out in front of you. Lowering all the way down onto your back. Bend the knees and towards the chest. Grab a hold of your knees, bring the big toes to touch. Push your tailbone into the floor and the back of your skull. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and just open your knees out nice and wide. So maybe the toes aren't touching now. Gently draw the knees closed. Extend the right leg straight down onto the mat. Grab a hold of the left kneecap with the left hand. Draw the knee in towards the chest and out to the side. Draw the left knee in, take a hold of the outside of the left knee with the right hand, 
come onto your right hip and drop the left knee to the right. Gazing over the left shoulder. Gently draw the left knee back in towards the chest. Extend the left leg straight down. Bend the right knee in towards the chest and open it out to the right. Draw that right knee now in towards your chest. Take a hold of the outside of the right knee with the left hand. Drop the knee all the way over to the left, just making sure you're on your left hip. Easing over the right shoulder. Gently draw the right knee back in towards your chest. Planting both feet onto the floor. Just readjust your hips, windshield wiper your knees from side to side. We'll take double wind relieving pose so draw your knees in towards your chest again you can stay here with your head on the floor or lift your head neck and shoulders squeeze your knees grab onto your heels squeeze into a nice tight ball for three for two inhale and exhale release the grip Extend the legs out wide, arms out wide, or your Shavasana. feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.